Okay, so um, this is going to take a little bit. It's going to take a little long. But once we get through this, all right, um, what we're going to do is you guys are going to pick up a little bit of speed, and it's going to go a little bit uh, quicker for you once you guys get the hang of it, all right? So what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a um, three-variable system. So what we have is 3x minus 2y plus 4z equals 35 negative 4x plus y minus 5z equals negative 36, and then 5x minus 3y plus 3z equals 31. Notice we have three variables and three equations. Very important part, all right? So the first step that I told you guys to write down was to eliminate one variable by using two pairs of equations, and then to create a system of two equations and two variables. So what we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we want to eliminate a variable. We want to pick in a variable that we can eliminate. So just by looking up those variables, but through talking about substitution and elimination, what do you guys would say might be one of the easiest variables to eliminate? The y, right? And the reason y is so important is because this y, I can eliminate this. If I said, let's forget about the third equation. And if I say I just wanted to eliminate y in between these two equations, all I have to do is multiply by 2, correct? And then if I said I wanted to eliminate y in between the second and third equations, all I have to do is multiply this one by 3. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is multiply this middle equation by a number, and you can add it to the other equations and, and eliminate. Um, and that's what you guys are going to want to look for. So when you're looking for picking a variable to eliminate, pick one that has a coefficient of 1. See, if you're going to pick the, if you wanted to eliminate x, you have to multiply both equations by a factor to eliminate the x's, right? Same thing if I want to eliminate x between these two. You'd have to pick, um, you have to multiply a factor by both those terms. So what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and eliminate. Let's, what we're going to do is set up two systems of equations. So I'm going to do 3x minus 2y plus 4z equals 35. And I'm going to take negative 4x plus y minus 5z equals negative 36. So I'm only going to pick two equations. I'm going to pick the top two, because you want to pick the one that has your variable that you want to eliminate, y, or that one with the coefficient of 1, and then you pick the other variable. Now what I want to do is I want to multiply this by 2. Because right, remember, we want to eliminate this, these two variables. So therefore, I obtain 3x minus 2y plus 4z equals 35. And then we multiply by 2, I get negative 8x plus 2y minus 10z equals negative 72. Does everybody follow me what I did so far? All I did was I wanted to eliminate. I just I'm not even talking about the third equation right now. All I did was I took these two, and um, I took these two, multiplied the second equation by 2. So when I add them up together, I'm now going to eliminate my y value. So. What I do, where's the what? Okay, so now I add my two equations, add them up just like you guys have done before. So therefore, I have um, negative five x plus zero y, and zero y is what? Zero, right? And then four z minus ten z is a negative six z, and then thirty five minus. Uh, Negative 72 is going to be a negative 37. Okay, So I have this new equation, which Ricardo, I'm going to say it's just negative 5x minus 60 equals negative 37. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this equation equation A. All right? So actually, you know what? Let me, let me kind of tell you a little tip. I always like to label my equations, 1, 2, and 3. So I do elimination with equations 1 and 2. When doing elimination with equations 1 and 2, I obtain equation A. Let's write this a little bit nicer, just so you can see it now. So it's negative 5x minus 6z equals negative 37. So that's equation A. Does everybody follow me? OK. So now let's do 2 and 3. So number two, again, is negative 4x plus y minus 5z equals negative 36. And equation three is 5x minus 3y plus 
3z equals 31. Now again, remember, ladies and gentlemen, what we talked about is we want to eliminate the y. So you have to keep on eliminating the y for all the equations. Don't just say, oh, I'm going to eliminate y, then I'm going to eliminate x. We chose this value for y because it's the easiest one to solve for. So now, what do I need to multiply my top equation by? So I, or you could do the bottom equation, but it's going to be easiest to do the top to get them to be the same. Multiply by a factor of 3. So that's exactly what I do. I should probably put parentheses around that. So you guys see. So now I multiply every single term by 3. And when I do that, I obtain negative, negative 12x plus 3y minus 15z. And 3 times that's going to be 72. It's going to be negative 108. All right. Then I just rewrite my second equation because I didn't do anything to it. So that's 5x minus 3y plus 3z equals a positive 31. OK, and I'm just going to go back and label these here. This was equation 2 again and equation 3. OK, so now we add them up. So remember, we did that whole process so we could eliminate the y again. So what I get is a negative 7x, 3y minus 3y is 0y. And then negative 15z plus 12z is going to be negative 12z. And then negative 108 equal or plus 31 is going to be negative 77. Okay. Again, you guys notice now I have an equation, two equations now, with no variable y. So we're going to label this b. All right. Is everybody following me so far? So now we found a and b. What's so cool about a and b, Wendy? Oh, a and b, that's so cool, so cool about a and b is, do they have any y's? No. So how many variables do we have? Two. All right, so now let's move on to step two. So what we did was, let's see if we did step one correctly. We eliminated one variable, which was y, by using two pairs of equations. We did one pair was one and two. The other pair of equations was two and three. And then we were supposed to create a system of two equations, a and b, with only two variables. Is that what we have? Perfect, right? So now step two says, solve the system of two equations to find the values of your two variables. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write up A and B. So A is negative 5x minus 6z equals negative 37. And B is negative 7x minus 12z equals negative 77. So um, to get to, to do systems of equations for these, I can't add them up, right? You can use elimination or substitution, whatever you want to do. However, I need to get them to be the same variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply um, a times 2. So when I multiply that by 2, I now obtain my new a, which is a negative 10x minus 12z. Um, you know what? Well, here, go slip with this. OK. I multiplied by 2. I got a negative 12z and a negative 12z, right? No, I didn't. Uh, negative 74. OK. Um, but what I'm trying to make sure that's fine. If you guys want to do negative 12z and a negative 12z, that's fine. Because what do you need to do? Subtract the two equations, right? When you have them with the same value and same sign, you subtract them. However, I'm telling you, more mistakes will happen by subtracting than they will by multiplying by a negative to make sure that you have a positive and a negative so you can just add them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to multiply by negative 2. By multiplying by negative 2, I end up with a positive 10x, a positive 12z, and a positive 74. You will make less mistakes when multiplying so you get a positive and a negative. So let's rewrite b now. 
B actually didn't, it's just going to be exactly the same. Okay, so now I add my two equations. Right, we're using the elimination technique. I have a positive and a negative, same term, so I add them. If they had the same sign, you could subtract them as I talked about. So what I get is 3x equals negative 3. Divide by 3, x equals negative 1. Now we got the value of 1, right? Almost there. Um, so how do you find the value of z for this? You plug it back into one of those equations. So it doesn't matter which equation you want to plug it into, but you just need to make sure you plug it in for x. Okay, negative 5 times negative 1 is a positive 5, minus 6z equals negative 37. Uh, subtract 5. Divide by negative 6. So therefore, I get z equals 7. OK, Ricardo? z equals 7. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I have x equals negative 1 and z equals 7. Did I solve my system of equations of two variables? Yes. So let's go down and move to step 3. Step 3 now tells us to substitute the two values of your, substitute the two values into one of your equations. You have three equations to choose. It does not matter which one you want to pick. So let's just go ahead and pick the first one. So we already know what z and x are. So I'm just going to plug in 3 times negative 1 minus 2y, which I do not know, plus 4 times z, which is 7 equals 35. All right. So we get negative 3 minus 2y plus 28 equals 35. Combine my like terms. Negative 2y equals 25 equals 35. <laughs> 25 plus 25, right? Subtract 25 on both sides and divide by 2. So you get 10. So negative 2y equals 10. Divide by negative 2. I now have y equal to negative 5, x equal to negative 1, and z equal to 7. <sighs> so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a system with three variables. Is it good? Not bad. Question? 28. I don't know. What did I get 28? That's 28. I think I like rewrote it. So you're going to subtract 28 on both sides. So um, Oh, yeah, I combined those two terms. You're right. I was right. Do you see where I got the 25? I did negative 3 plus 28. I combined my like terms. We good? That wasn't bad. It was only 